please welcome Nick Pettigrew! Um, I, I hate um, talking to people in hallways. Like, I, I hate seeing people in hallways because there's always that awkward, like, uh, acknowledgement tango that you have to play if you don't know them really well, where it's like you can't make eye contact directly because then you're staring at the person for way too long and you don't know them that well. All you have is a high saved up. So you can't burn that at the beginning and just go, hi. <laughs> weird because for me stand-up is very personal like I right. I'm very personal I'm very honest and I felt like at the time like people just weren't connecting with me and it was the worst thing in the world and I literally I spent a, a drive home from a show where I drove home so defeated that I was screaming to God like asking him like why are you doing this to me and then halfway through my yelling I started apologizing saying like I know you have a lot on your plate. <laughs> like, I know that this doesn't matter. I want so badly people to, if not like me, at least understand me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that it's hard for me to... I hate not seeing anybody happy in, in a show. When I was 16, I thought it'd be a great idea if I plastered every wall in my bedroom with the blueprints for the Star Trek Enterprise D. And uh, I did that because I wanted to be Wesley Crusher. Like, I just thought it was so... I thought it was so awesome to like, look up at any moment and be like, oh, that's how the saucer section would attach to engineering in the event of a warp core breach. <laughs> I am alone. <laughs> but I realized with time that what I was doing was in fact building myself a very elaborate virginity cocoon. <laughs> and I would spend my nights protected by my anti-vagina force field just trying to figure out what girls didn't call. Pretending that my mother was a second in command. Like, anybody on comms, mom? No. <laughs> It's a geek sketch improv and stand-up comedy show. So everything is centered around like geek stuff, things that I love. Science fiction, comics, video, you know, move like everything that I love and I thought that there wasn't a place to do it. That's why I started the shows, because I wanted to do it. Well, you guys have read about this. Okay, it's a very simple process. First off, we get a boat. Second, we freak the shit out of the boat! It's grown into a good group of my friends that are in my this group with me, and it's it's all our show. Like I yeah. feel like I feel like it, it, like I started it, but it's not mine. It's everybody's now, and I really love it. Because we don't have a host. Okay. I, I will say no. Yeah. yeah, dude. Cool. Right what do you need to feel good about a show? You know what? I've never considered what that would look like. Probably would be a show where I do all material that I feel is honest to me, and everything destroys. Where everything is a gigantic laugh, nothing misses, and I never have that moment on stage where I'm looking at the audience and I feel like they don't understand me.